boy, Michael Jordan here. That's what's up, I'm Michael Jordan. Just kidding, I'm not. I'm just a guy who's not that good at basketball. Today we're going to learn about graphs of quadratic functions. Quadratic functions. A quadratic function means that it has an x squared in it. You know, usually you have 2x plus 3 equals y, whatever. It's just got an x in it. Quadratic means it's got an x squared, okay? Um, it also means that whenever you graph that mug, it's going to have a parabola. Parabolas usually look like this or like this. They've got some sort of curvature to them. Okay? See how I did there? It's so beautiful. It looks like i got to clip my fingernails in this thing. Okay. So let's watch this video real quick. Y'all see this? See that? I'll do it again. Oh. Did you see that? So we started, the dude just had this little ruler up, had another one out here, he rolled the ball, and then it rolled across the ground, correct? Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to create a graph out of this, all right? Talk about some of the changes we had here. Talk about some of the things. Don't talk about anything because you're watching a video. Be weird. You're talking to yourself, you've got headphones in, everybody's looking around like, what is he talking about? Just pause it and think about what happened with that ball. Over time, it rolled, it had some distance, it had some speed. Now, in our equation, as we did with the piecewise linear functions, we care about time and elevation. That's how you spell elevation. Okay, what would be some good, um, sorry, I was thinking inside my head. Um, for time, I think seconds. You don't want to go like hours, because that was about a four second video. So we go seconds, and then elevation, it was probably, I would say probably a foot off the ground. Yeah, I'll say a foot off the ground, so we'll probably do 12 inches. Is that cool? Cool. In time, I'd say it was, I don't know what I have written down right here. Um, I think it's 1.7 seconds. Just a guess. Just a guess. I didn't see it in my notes, but I did see it in my notes. So, yeah, I saw it in my notes. Okay, so let's see how this would graph. All right, if you want, if you're in a classroom and I'm actually doing this, I'm going to split up into groups and do that. If not, hey, don't disobey your teacher. They're very sweet and attractive. Hey, girl, what's up? How you doing? Are you a dude? That's fine. Whatever. I'm just saying hi. Hey. What's up? I'm just saying hello. I'm married. Calm down. Okay, so whenever we go in here, we want to um, solve this problem. Let's say we want to graph this, okay? It started out and it had, it went down this little hill. So if we're talking about time, its elevation probably sped up over time, correct? Like it had a pretty constant amount of elevation, but then after that, after it hit the, I don't know, second or two mark, a couple sec or not a second or two, about a second in, it still had some time and distance, but it did not have any elevation. So what would that look like? It's a good question. Now, we went from here down to zero, correct? Because when it hits here, it hits zero. So I would say, it was a pretty smooth transition, so it's probably something like this. It sped up as it went down. See how it got faster and faster? And then, what happened whenever it got there? Did it go up or down any? No. So we're not going to go up or down. We're going to progress through time this way. And then we would stop it at 1.7 seconds because that's when the video stopped. Okay? And that's essentially just like a real quick glance at what a graph of quadratic function looks like. Okay, do you see how it has this, like I said, with the parabola? Let's see what else we got for examples. Um, now, if you created your graphs on your own, you're more than welcome to compare with your friends, people in the groups. Um, now, should this be a constant rate? Should it be a straight line? No, because it wasn't a constant rate. As the ball rolled down that little whatever the dude made, the little mousetrap looking thing, it sped up. So it shouldn't be constant. It's not going to be a straight line through there because it wasn't the same speed. Stuff picks up speed as it rolls down hills. You ever driven a truck or ridden a truck and you go down a hill and it goes faster as you go faster. I mean as, as you go as you go down the hill it goes quicker and it gains speed. Therefore this is going to gain speed. As it started out slow it picked up speed and went it went down faster. The elevation went down and it got closer to the ground because it sped up. Gosh I feel like I just said the same thing twice. Okay. Now when does the elevation change more slowly? Where in our graph did it slow down in the elevation? I'm not saying the ball slowed down, I'm saying the elevation did. That's right, when it plateaued across the ground. Okay? When it went across the ground, the elevation didn't go up or down. The ball still went forward, but it didn't go up or down. So essentially on our graph, that's it. This is not a graph, not a picture. This is a picture of what happened. 
This is not a picture of what happened. This is a picture of these, the time in relation to how high it was off the ground. You've got to keep that in mind. Whenever you're doing these graphs, like if you have a graph like this and it goes like this, it doesn't mean that they tossed the ball in an arch over there, okay? It means that it could have been tossed straight up. It doesn't matter. If it's a comparison of time for elevation, then that, that's what it is. It's a picture of that, okay? It's not a picture of the path of the ball, okay? You're not drawing what the ball did, okay? Cool. So that's pretty much it for the intro of it. It's the introduction of graphs to quadratic functions. Now we're going to go a little deeper. You can check my other videos. I've got links. Go to tarveracademy.com. Why am I talking? I've got an outro for this. Bye-bye. Jordan out. I dunked it. I dunked it on that one. I don't know if you saw that. What up? Thank you for watching the video. I for real, for real appreciate that. You know I do. You know I do, girl. Um, or dude, whatever. Okay, so, if you could, real quick, I'm going to run through. Check me out on Facebook. If you want, just type in Tyler Tarver. It'll pop up Tyler Tarver is okay. Or you can just go facebook.com slash Tyler's okay. Or you can just do fb.com slash Tyler's okay. Yeah, Facebook jumped on that. Got the fb.com. Good job, Facebook. Check me out on Twitter, Tyler Tarver. Twitter.com slash Tyler Tarver. T Y L E R T A R V E R. Blah. Check out Instagram. Just search Tyler Tarver. Once again, blah. I got to have Tyler Tarver and everything except for Facebook. It's Tyler's okay. Did my best. Sorry, Mom. Okay. If you want, um, you can check out my website. It's TylerTarver.com. Or if you're on YouTube, you just click this. It'll take you to my regular YouTube page where I post videos that are less math and more not math. I try to be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you go to tarveracademy.com. It's got a lot of math videos. Try to organize them for you. Got tons of math videos. Little help videos. Some that are just off there. Some where I'm up here. But look at me, everybody. All right. And then you can also click that if you're on YouTube. And it'll take you to my math channel, which is youtube.com slash Sir Tyler Tarver. So if you're interested in math videos, got a ton of math videos on there. I'm putting more on there all the time. So in conclusion, you just go ahead and go to the Facebook page. You know, be a, you know, click like or whatever. Check out the Twitter, follow, and then you go to Instagram, and you're like, ah, oh, and then you're going to go over here, and you're going to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is just search Tyler Tarver. It's the only ones that don't have math videos, and then you search Tyler Tarver, pops up this one, so. Just going to wait. I'll just wait right here. Just wait right here for you to go do all those things. Just click it, and it'll probably pop it in the window. Just, just go ahead and search. Get your phone out, whatever, you just, just wait. I really am going to wait until you go do all of the things that I asked you to do. That's all I'm asking. Just go do all the stuff that I ask. <laughs>